make up Natural History Society used to go on outings. You know those outings included a wagonette? Absolutely. Couldn't do without them. No, neither can I. My wagonette is waiting just outside the grounds here. Robert, you're a genius. You're going to save me legs. The Bake-Up Naturalist outings used to include visits to stone quarries in Rossendale. But we've decided to visit one of the very few private coal mines in the country, at the small village of Dean, where Billy Clayton employs 15 miners. Is it something that's in the blood, coal mining? I mean, oh, yeah, that is. That is. Um, once it gets in, it's hard, to, it's hard for you to leave the industry. You, you're, they're always anchored to come back. Is another fine mess you've got me into? Down the hole again, it's finished. What is it you're bringing out? What sort of coal? It's industrial coal. Industrial coal. It's not uh, domestic, it's too soft. This is real hard grafting down there. Yeah, it is that. There's something about it gets in your blood. Yeah, it's somewhere new every day. Yeah, you're somewhere where nobody else has ever been when you're on a cold face. When did you know you were going to go into mining? When I was... Well, my dad was there before me. Uh, but when I was uh, 12, 13 year old, my mother used to go out and I'd, I'd build a, a, a pit top on the table. It was a pretty kitchen table. <laughs> and when she'd come back, there would be a working model of a, a pit. Uh, so I had some inclination as to what I wanted to do, but it, yeah. took, it just took some getting on at the mine. Was there an ambition at the back of your mind all the time? The ambition were to have my own pit, eventually. This payment system you've got here, how, how does it work? I've noticed all these toggles and... What do you call them? Nogs. 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 Well, that's a means of identification. Uh, each tub that comes out of the pit, um, it, you empty it's halfway down the tub so that if anybody felt like they could uh, sort of swap... But I'm not suggesting that they do, but mm. if, 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 it, if it arose that... Uh, they could get at them easier, it might be a temptation for them to swap see. one nog for their own. So each man puts his own nog? Halfway down the tub, then pills it, so it can't be get at. So it's, uh, the more you graft, the more you earn? Yeah, and these lads, when they're down there, it's like a box of boxing through, and it's absolutely out when you finish. finished. the last stage of our outing. Ron's been down the hole, so I've accepted an invitation from John Taylor, a Bake-Up naturalist, to follow the course of the River Irwell under the streets of Bake-Up. That's as evil a looking colour as I've seen in a long time. <laughs> it's uh, a little bit better than it has been, but uh, it's not too bad. God's no, truth. Right, orange. What's that from the old mine workings? Yes, we, we call it car water in Rosendale, C-A-R-R. It's uh, a dialect expression which uh, refers to this iron oxide that comes out of the coal mines. But is it heavily polluted anyway? Not as much now as it has been. It used to be uh, a bit evil, mm. a bit foul, but apart from the car water, it's quite pleasant. You're sure this doesn't go any deeper, are you? Uh, it's quite shallow today, <laughs> quite pleasant. Is this Victorian, John? Yes, this section here, which uh, is uh, about a hundred year old, yeah. um, is an initial stone arch with brick on top. Hmm. A little bit further on, we've got concrete. And it's, it's safe, is it? It's possible <laughs> to uh, sort out the age of the tunnel as you go through. How much time do you spend down here, John? Well, I have a real home to go to, but... Uh, it's just one of the places I visit occasionally yes. with interested parties. Presumably it gets very deep if there's a, a heavy rainfall. When the weather is very bad, it actually fills up almost to the top further on, yes. There's a little side tributary here that comes in. Oh. It's a bit tight for you though, Bob. I don't think that's either. penetrated. There's a dry bit here. Let's, let's okay. park ourselves for a minute and have yes. a break. Can't quite sunbathe, but we'll have a rest. It's true. Now then seem to be walking forever. Where, in fact, are we? Well, we're under the main road, in the centre of Baker, near where the bus stop is in Baker. This, uh, this bridge section here is... At the 
the end of a long day, we come back to where we started, to the Bacup Natural History Society, where the members gather for their weekly meeting and the tea flows like water. <laughs> It's not been a bad walk at all, except for one little bit. Somebody took us along the Irwell under the centre of Bacon. Well, that's interesting. Is it? <laughs> it's not just a museum, it's a club, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, you, you can sort of walk in and you, you suddenly find you're amongst friends. I mean, what do I do? I mean, I come four times a year, perhaps. Uh, and yet, with two minutes of walking in, I mean, Arnold's insulted me and we're all laughing. <laughs> it's that sort of place, isn't it?